What's going down everybody? Welcome back to the first top five in five of 2023 right here on Commander Cookout brought to you by as always FusionGamingOnline.com where you can use special new promo code CCO Slam save 5% off your whole dang old order. Good deal. Second big thanks goes out to Patreon supporters over at Patreon.com slash CCO Podcast. You can hop on over there, join our Discord, get in some VEDH games, get invited to the CCO experience in 23. It's going to be awesome. Now, the top five ways to improve your magic game. These are going to be tips that are going to make you a better magic player. Number five. Number five is easy, but it also could have been number one. This is play more magic. It could have been number one if I just said play more magic. But what I'm going to say at number five, play more magic with the rest of the list in mind. Focused magic games with the distinct goal of getting better. Number four. If you can't play more magic, you can think about magic and watch more gameplay footage. Watching people play at the LGS, it might mean hopping on YouTube to your favorite gameplay channel. Like, you know, Commander Cook outside Walk Slam, you could watch that. Maybe if you watch that, it would show you how not to play and you'd still improve. So more gameplay, watch more games, watch people make decisions, watch how people react, watch how they play out their spells and sequence their turns, watch how they politic. All of that is gonna make you a better player. Number three. Number three is learn more about decks. Now, this might be reading deck text. Maybe it's looking at a whole bunch of different deck lists on your favorite like deck building websites. Maybe it's going to edhrec.com and learning about all of the different potential cards that could go into a deck. Learn more about decks. Decks you play, decks you wanna build, decks your friends play, decks that you see often at events or at the LGS. Learn more about decks. Jank ones, tribal ones, CEDH ones, combo ones, control ones, aggro ones. Learn more about decks. What that's going to do is give you an idea of how certain decks want to run, what they want to do, what kind of cards want to be played in those decks, and what kind of players you're going to be matched up against when they say, hey, I'm playing this deck, it's an aggro deck, or this deck, it's a control deck. You're going to learn the kind of play style that that player is going to play with when they play that kind of deck. Number two. Number two, build more decks. And this goes right along with number three and number four and number five. If you build more decks, maybe that means more pre-cons. Maybe you're editing, adjusting, tweaking pre-cons. Maybe that's ripping some of your decks apart. Maybe that's building new ones from the ground up. Maybe that's partner builds with your friends, your significant other. Build more decks is going to give you an idea of what kind of cards you're frequently including. Maybe those are cards that you are comfortable with, skilled with. Maybe that kind of play style is the kind that you'd like. If you're building more decks and venturing outside of your normal build comfort zone, you're going to learn how to play more styles, more strategies, and that more well-rounded approach will give you a more complete grasp of the format, of your meta, of your play group, and of course, of yourself as a player. And the number one way, and I think this is actually the most important way, more like far and away above any of the other ones except for playing more and this is talk about your games after the game why did you make this play i was thinking about this i would have had you if i did this if on turn three i would have played that other thing then i would have done this on turn five and would have got you even if it's a bad beat story you can think about it in a way where if i did this or because i did this because you did that and you're going to start to learn how to think about the game when it's happening. You're gonna learn from your mistakes, learn from your triumphs, learn from good plays or bad plays that your opponent made, learn from when you got somebody and you're gonna remember that and it's gonna to lead to better games in the future. So those are my top five ways to improve this 
year. Can I say that? Because it's the first one of the year. We're brought to you by FusionGamingOnline.com. CCO Slam, new promo code. Get 5% off all the cards in 2023. Big thanks to the patrons. You can see a list of our Patreon supporters. A link is on the screen somewhere. Like, share this video, subscribe to CCO. Check out our totally medium editor and whatever he puts on the end screen right now.